This is Abby, and we will be testing her blood sugar with our Gentil device. We have shaven a small spot on her hip, about two fingers from the base of her spine at the base of her tail. Right here is the end of her tail, and we're about two fingers from her spine. And we will be testing in this area right here that we've shaven. I've heated it with a rice sock and applied a small film of Vaseline to help uh, the blood to pool so we can test it. I'm going to hand the phone over to Dad here. And we will try to check. I'm hoping you'll be able to see well. We just apply it to the area here. We push the button. She always jumps at the sound of it, but she's not feeling it at all. I can assure you of that. Uh, the blood is pooling. I don't know if you can see it inside the little bubble there. It looks like you can see it there. And we just wait till I, I want to make sure it is a good size bead of blood so I don't have to do it twice. And sometimes it takes a little longer than others, but that's what makes this device wonderful. It uses suction to bring this blood to the surface and you wait until it's a good enough size drop and you don't have to stick them again. But it's completely painless. She doesn't even feel it. Okay, nice size bead of blood. I already had her meter and her test strip ready. And we'll see what Abby's blood sugar is. 93. That's really good for a diabetic dog that We've worked diligently to get regulated, and she's uh, diabetic a year on January the 6th coming up, and being able to monitor their blood sugar at home on a regular basis has been able to preserve her eyesight at this point because they do normally go blind fairly early in the diagnosis, and so being able to use the Gentil to keep her blood sugar, her blood sugar checked and keep it in balance has been a gift that we're grateful for. Thank you so much.